Who's a good boy? <laughs> Ooh, it's a nice day out there. Good job, really, because we're about to do some location scouting. Yeah, I think this is a perfect day for uh, visiting Newstead Abbey in Nottinghamshire. Um, hello, I'm Mubit. For those who don't know me, I am the second AD on Hymns of Avarice. Yeah, we're just uh, about to complete block two of filming. Um, but we've got some sort of more romantic period kind of scenes to do. Especially in block three. And hopefully uh, a little bit of a chase scene to finish on Tuesday, which is actually in a couple of days time because we, one of our locations fell through at the very last minute. That was the way of filming. So yeah, we're off to New St Abbey, a very beautiful area of the country. Then again, I'm biased because I live near it. <laughs> it's just on the north side of Nottingham, my favorite city in the world. And uh, yeah, we've got a meeting with the site manager there. Uh, let him know so our aims and the various uh, health and safety and uh, risk assessment type things that we do here in Team Reflector and Team BIB. So yeah, um, also local knowledge, I'm not going in the main entrance, I'm going in the back entrance, Murdron, um, because Movement Media Towers is near near the back end and, and you do walk past a massive um, like mansion house that locally, if stories are to be believed, in the local pubs in the village of Limby and things like that. Brian May's second house is that house. I don't know how true that is. Whoever owns it does have an army of dogs patrolling the thing, so uh, that's going to be fun as we walk past. But I'll show you those guys if it's, you know, safe to do so. I'm not going to show you the actual house because that's not on, but if the dogs are out, we'll say hello to them. Um, but they, it's quite funny because they... <laughs> They patrol in front of this fence, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, and it's like they've they've, <laughs> they've dug like a trench just through, <laughs> like a root, like a river, like digs a trench into the land because they go back and forth in front of this gate. And there's like a little, there's like a little divot, like a soil divot where they've come back and forth in front of this, <laughs> in front of this front gate. It's hilarious. So I'll show you that. We'll have a look around Newstead Abbey. I'll show you a bit of the BTS kind of. Uh, reports that I do for the director and DP and things like that. Um, I'll, I'll shorten it down so, so you're not too bored. Um, and yeah, we'll see where we go from that point. But I think I've got a good feeling about this location, actually. it's uh, I know it quite well anyway. And it's, uh, it's a good one. It's a very nice area. I think we can make something pretty there. But anyway, let's go! Let's see if we can see this trench. Ah, oh, brings a bit overwhelming. Can you see it there? Brown trench, that's where the dogs walk past. <laughs> and they they basically patrol backwards and forwards along this bush. We're not out today, luckily. <laughs> Thought I'd be able to show you the hounds. <laughs> uh, Newstead Abbey. You can see it around this corner. This is the back entrance, matron. As you can see, plenty of great woodland. The whole place is surrounded. This used to be shield forest. Uh, but yeah, I'll come back to you once I'm on, in the grounds itself. Okay, I'm on site. Uh, Newstead Abbey is just there. To the side here we've got uh, what could be the Mayor's House and then a huge, 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 huge lake. Um, now, at 20, now at 18. There's another building over there that you could walk along, a little wall. To get to that, you go through these woods here, around, and come into the thing, going into 55, that's 55. Okay, moved approximately 10 metres from my last location. This is the Folly Waterfall. Um, I'm currently staying on top of it, as you can see, and you can hear it. Okay, this is the bottom of the Folly Waterfall. I was previously stood up there. Um, you can actually walk inside. There's a hut there that could be set dressed quite nicely. Um, and as you can see, the Folly Waterfall goes into this lake here. And then there's a natural waterfall on the other side of the road, which I'll go to next. Um, that's my transportation. But as we come through here, there is a cell in here. There's, and then you come through here, so it's hard to get focused when I can't see the screen. 
you've got this here, so uh, very natural wood and everything. This this could be like the corridor could be in, a, in a house, maybe. I don't know. Uh, view out that way, and then we come through here. And there's the waterfall. There's the folly waterfall. Obviously, from the front, it's going to look fake as hell, but inside here, this could be quite good. You know, bit of romance and drama there. Um, we can easily take out that road in post in After Effects and then just focusing, there we go and then you've got all this here coming through be doing a, follow, doing a dolly forward kind of shot, something like that then out here going to the natural waterfall now okay natural waterfall number one, the folly is just over there uh, go to 50, there you go and we've got two natural streams here. That goes off into the garden to an actual proper natural waterfall. This one's more of a man-made to look natural waterfall. But you've got rock sculptures up there. Uh, coming down. So, and there's some trees over here. If I come back a bit, excuse me. So something like that, you've got trees there that they can be hanging out and talking in, you've got trees along here. Okay, front side of the Abbey. Either side of that car there. I can't focus because I can't see the damn screen. Um, there are two um, gateways into the former gardens, which is behind this wall here which we'll go to towards the end of the video because I'm going around in a big circle well hang on I'm going to be going around in a big circle like that and round to the other side this is one of the main disabled car parks so probably what I want to shoot from this side but from the other side looking in, the other side of that wall looking in and that that's absolutely fine, it's all hidden um, as you can see there's cars here um, Usually on a weekday it's not too bad, obviously it's only just opened, but uh, you'll see later on probably by the time I finish this video there'll be visitors coming. Um, cafes there, toilets, uh, fire extinguishers etc. And that door there in the weekends opens up and that's um, the Grade 2 listed part of the building that's still intact and uh, if you look on the website you'll see photos of the inside of that. Okay, main entrance into the informal part of the gardens, the, the waterfall I just took to is down there. We've got a lovely ancient cedar tree here that we could do something with quite nicely. And another lake over there, which leads into more waterfalls. Informal gardens that way, formal gardens that way. We'll go to the informal first because that's got all the waterfalls and things, which is your main request. Got a guy here right on cue. Uh, you've got the potential of the public coming down here and of course this is where ducks live and geese and I don't think you can see them there but they are have all got little chicks so they may be a bit they may be a bit leery. Case in point Hello It's alright I'm not gonna hurt your chicks don't worry I'm not gonna hurt your chicks here get the chicks look look at the little chickies This is one bit I definitely wanted to show you. Ancient bridge. And if we go right into 50, well you can't quite see so I've only got 55 on me today, but there's the former garden entrance just there. So do use an 80 or 200 to collapse the background. And you've got former garden there. You've got a little bit of a, you got a little beautiful loads of tr um, wildflowers there bit of a lake and then this bridge which if I go back to an out of 14 and give you a tour around so this could be like the mayor's garden maybe but there's a as you can see wildflowers going either side of this and it curves around which is nice and the path com comes down here into like you could even have a love scene in this little, you know, little growth here where they're snogging or something, you know. Um, and there's also, I'm leaving my scooter behind, but whoop, 
There's also a folly cave right there. Creative camera angles, or you could get the camera inside looking out that little window to here. You know, jobs are good in. This is a beautiful shot. We'd have to set the camera angle there, pointing back this way, because we've got some fences up at the moment, but this kind of curves all the way around, all the way around to there, which is rather nice. And then there's always these little offshoots. So you could have, you know, they're walking through this kind of zigzag, 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 all down there. Okay, here's the first of the mini waterfalls that are kind of straight down rather than the one I showed you before that's kind of like a step. Uh, this is the top of it, other side of the lake, there's the abbey over there, currently at 14. Um, and you can see lots of lovely... I've mentioned this waterfall because it's not like natural gushing gushing, but... I've got some nice photos like coming through like the trees and the bushes here, and, you know, just to frame everything up and I think it'd be quite nice. There's a clearing down there. Um, but you can get the camera up here and they could be walking. There's a dirt path here, so that's a bit more medieval looking than a formal path. So there's a dirt path like that. So you could have the camera up here with the waterfall and they're walking down doing some dialogue. Stick a stick a, a lab mic on the costume. Jobs are good, and or you could even have um, the sound guy in the bush with the you know the the microphone in the bush like that. Um, health and safety announcement: the steps here are well very steep. The first one is at least, so you've got to be careful of that. But uh, that's down to my knee. So from a practicality standpoint, be careful, those of you who have bad knees. But there's your waterfall. There's your clearing. And there's your dirt path. Yeah, it's not spectacular and bloody, um, you know, four floors high like the other ones we've seen. But there's less travelling around to do because everything's all within five, ten metres of each other. Got that there. And they could have just, um, I mean, they, they had water mills in the uh, medieval times, so this could be man made quite easily, really. But then you've got another lot, lots of little tiny waterfalls going off that way. Plenty of space up the top, as you saw, for um, crew quarters and things. So you've got all that path, and that's all closed off, but um, they could easily just move the, move the fence around just a bit, and you've got all that path to ourselves then. But, uh, hang on. Leaning on a tree here. But, I mean, there's a shot right there. Okay, reverse angle, uh, currently at 14. You see what I mean about shooting through things? That, that looks a bit more natural now, from over there. But you've got that. And then from a crew comfort point of view, if we come through here, uh, if we can't set up tents, we have got a shelter here that's quite large. Um, bearing in mind, my scooter is an electric scooter, it's massive, whoa. Um, even, to be honest, we might even get away without being, being an outbuilding for for the uh, medieval thing, I don't know. Could easily take that graffiti out with uh, with After Effects. Uh, and I'm not in focus, that's always helpful. But yeah, crew come point of view, if it rains, it can all run into there. The waterfall is just there. If we come through here, you've got Lots of dirt tracks along here. I'm just give this. I'm going to bit the closest, obviously. Uh, we've got a clearing over there with a platform at the top that we can point the camera straight down at them, maybe. Um, again, another way to make the waterfall look more natural, shooting through stuff. You definitely have to ADR the sound, as you can hear, because it's quite loud. But, I mean, you've got reverse angle where I was standing before, you've got, to, to take away the harsh top of it, you can do that. And they could be stood there. Now on the entrance into the informal gardens, and as you can see, lots of little paths like this. This is just an example. A big winding, gnarly trees. You know, it might give a bit of um, preemptive spookiness. 
and winding paths like this that they could be walking through having a discussion or whatever. Crew comfort now, there's the cafe, there's the, the hang on, that's the bridge bit I showed you. And right, the waterfall is there. Formal rock gardens, which are a bit too formal, I think, for medieval times. But through here, for the kids, if the kids are going to be on site, we've got a nice adventure playground and picnic area. So, I'll just give you a quick sweep of this. So, if we've got any, uh, especially younger children, on site on the day. A nice little playground for them to hang out in and decompress and be children. Okay, now at 18 mil again. This is the tunnel to the formal garden of the actual abbey itself. And I'm thinking torches in here would look awesome. I'll give you a reverse POV because obviously on the other side we've got this formal garden right here. So for the shape, by the way, I couldn't be asked to bring my gimbal because I'm on a scooter and it's heavy. There's your reverse angle. You know, a health and safety notice. Uh, if I can focus, there are peacocks in here. And as you can see, it's the time of year that they're horny. So uh, they do tend to come at you. <laughs> There you go. She's a witch, she's been caught. Go out with my children and burn her. Light your torches, etc, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Because they did say blah, blah, blah in the medieval times. I know, I was there. But there's an angle there. You could easily, you could easily get the way of it. And we've got full control here because you can't get in. There's a, there's a path there. And then there's another tunnel. You know that wall I showed you at the front? That's running along here. Like so you just get them to lock up that gate, that's gone, and here we just have a, have a chain across or a couple of spotters to stop people wandering in shot, because you can't really wander that way anyway, there's, there's no access, so they wouldn't really wander this way, and then you've got something like that. Please don't need me! Hey, 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 shh, 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 come on, there's no need me! And there we go, hopefully that was uh, enlightening for you. That is basically what we do on a location scout video. Kind of nerdy, in a way, but it's kind of rough and ready as well. This one's definitely rough and ready because we are filming, we lost our location up in York, and we're hoping to film on Tuesday. So uh, Newstead would be very good, shout out to Newstead. Newstead Abbey, you guys are awesome. Thank you for seeing me at such short, short notice and uh, being amenable to us. But yeah, I'm going back now to send the directs of all this footage and the stills and things I've taken. And as you just saw, I've just been attacked by, by the local Rottweilers. <laughs> I don't think it used to be Brian Mace, I don't know if it still is. He definitely still, apparently still drinks in the local pub, which is down the road, down the road here. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get back on my, uh, on my scooter and get this job done because we're in a rush. Happy Star Wars Day, obviously, and, uh, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra! Action!